since, certainly since being involved with the Alliance for about the past two years, it has been a lot easier and a lot more comfortable because I've been able to kind of link in the Alliance, you know, this is what the Alliance is, this is what I do for them. Living with a long-term condition or a disability uh, is uh, not uh, the only determinant of how people live healthy uh, uh, and productive lives. Over the next 10 years, I think I would like to see the Alliance influencing more legislation and policy that was person-centred, that had a human rights-based approach, that was inclusive of individuals and communities. The Alliance is a third sector strategic intermediary organisation. We have over 1,500 members and we represent uh, organisations uh, who operate in health, uh, social care and wellbeing. One of the best things about being involved with the Alliance is that they are so connected with other organisations who are involved in health and wellbeing. It means that we have an easy way to connect with them and get them involved with our projects and our work. Third Sector Lag deliver a series of training programmes called Be Good Be Social, which is about getting the third sector and public sector to build their capacity in using technology, in particular social media. The Alliance is the perfect place for us to deliver that training because it's accessible and it's bang in the centre of Glasgow. We are a comparatively small team, but we operate in a big league and we make our presence felt uh, on behalf of people who are disabled, uh, on behalf of people who are uh, unpaid carers, uh, on behalf of people who have long-term conditions. And we make sure their voice is heard uh, in government and in, in other statutory services. Over the next three or four years, uh, we have a, a number of very strong programmes uh, we are in, continually involved in developing the self-management programme. We have a strong engagement ethos uh, and we hope to be part of the Our Voice programme which will be uh, bringing, uh, bringing our ethos into uh, the, new, uh, the new partnership boards. We have a strong integration programme uh, which our academy leads. Uh, and we'll be um, probing and thinking and developing ideas around that. And we have a, 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 the second phase of a People Powered Health and Wellbeing Programme, which is designed, as it, as it says, to put power into the hands of communities and individuals in relation to, to their health.